All right, so I'm Jordan from Island Web Design. A lot of you will probably recognize me from like your news feed or YouTube and stuff like that. And today I'm going to be talking about the time that Kev and his wife Claire from Jersey approached us to design and build a new website for Kev's art and their brand, The Soul of the Gypsy. And that morning when they called me, I went and took a look at Kev's Instagram to check out his work and I was instantly hooked. I knew that we had to design a website that was worthy of being the website of a creative. So in this presentation, I'm going to do a deep dive into the full project, show you guys what really goes into the design of a website like this, show you what goes into all the premium animations, and show you how we turn some poor quality images that were taken on an iPhone camera into high quality Photoshop mockups that properly showcase Kev's work. We're going to show you the full process, all of the problems that we solved, and the solutions that we presented to solve them, and just show you guys what really goes into a real client project like this. One of the actual really interesting things about this story is I was in this exact room when Kevin Claire first contacted me. It was early on a Sunday morning. We'd come in early to film content, very much like we had today. They gave me a call to discuss their ideas and that actually ended up being the start of the amazing business relationship that I ended up building with them that we're gonna talk about today. And like I told you guys at the start, one of the first things that Kevin Claire asked me to do was to go and check out Kev's Instagram, and I was instantly impressed. I've told Kev this multiple times throughout the process, but it's much easier to make a good artist look good than it is a bad one, especially when Kev was already doing everything right. He had this awesome video made about himself, and he'd been posting so regularly because he'd been creating so regularly. So when I took a look at all this stuff, I could just identify one more problem that I think we needed to solve. And that was an exposure problem. Like many others, and I know a load of you have probably had this problem, Kev was doing amazing work, he had an amazing business, but nobody knew he existed. We ended up going back and forth, discussing a load of ideas, and what we actually ended up deciding was that Kev's social media efforts were already on point. He just needed a hub for his business, a place where he could actually showcase the soul of the gypsy and all of the amazing art he was doing. He needed a website. All right, so we're gonna actually dive into the site now and start actually taking you guys through the thought process, everything I thought about when I was looking at this. One of the first things that we spoke about on our call when I spoke to Kevin Claire was about Kev's inspiration and like what actually inspired him to create all this art. And I'm telling you now, there was so much interest and stuff behind this. Kev has an amazing story and there's so many different things that inspire him. I mean, just check this out. We go over to the about page here. We've also got this awesome image we made of Kev where I took a load of his bold, colorful art and put it behind him. But either way, that's not what we're talking about here. So if we just scroll down a little bit on this about page, the gypsy lifestyle, fueling the soul. And once we get down past here, we actually come into Kev's inspiration. We've got all of this awesome stuff here. And Kev was inspired by so much stuff. We've got music, the doors, bikers, tattoo culture, Californian surf culture, and even just the architecture of cities like Venice and Rome. There was so much here. And I just wanted to make sure that we actually showcase this stuff on the site, because in reality, this is the stuff that's actually fueling the passion that's creating Kev's art in the first place. So we've created this little section here where you can see all the different inspiration coming in past the screen. And if you're actually come in and click on one of these you get a little bit more information about it why it inspired Kev and why he likes it so much as we can see here Keith Richards was a big inspiration of Kev's so that was something we wanted to showcase on the site so we've got all this inspiration here and this isn't really the only place we use the inspiration there's loads of places on this site where we've used different things that inspire Kev to tell a story visually and really just talk about Kev's character so we're going to get into a lot more of that and as I start taking you through the site and showing you different things you are going to start to notice a lot of this inspiration you're going to see it see how we used it and see how we were inspired by Kev's inspiration in the first place. All right, so that's the inspiration. And the next thing that I'm gonna show you guys, I probably should have shown you first because this actually sets the tone for the whole website. And that's the H1 title that we chose for the homepage because when I was listening to Kev talk, talk about everything that inspires him, why he does what he does, and really just who he is, I was, could personally think of one word that sums him up perfectly. So if we just go over to the homepage here, that word is, and look at that loader unapologetic. The unapologetic art style of Kev Ash sums Kev up perfectly and when I came to Kev with this word which I wanted to use to set the tone for the website he loved it so we now had a direction. So carrying on with the premium animations there's so much stuff in here we've obviously got the initial loader I just showed you guys which is followed by the text animating in and these little pieces of Kev's inspiration animating in. We're going to show you a little bit more about how we made this in a bit. Obviously this is some architecture from Venice or Rome, I'm not exactly sure, but it's architecture from one of those cities which just looks beautiful. And as I said, this sets the tone to show you guys that there is a load of premium animations and premium work throughout this website. So if we just start scrolling down here, if I can actually find my mouse, because my mouse is lost on the screen. So if we actually start scrolling down here, you see straight away, everything's nice and smooth. Everything transitions in nicely. Video grows in like that. I did mention this video at the start to you guys. As I said, when I first met Kev, he already had this amazing video. We just needed to make sure people knew it existed and people got the opportunity to watch it. So I'm not going to play it to you guys, but I am going to show you a little bit. So this is one of the, one of the assets that we had to work with when we first got in. And this just showcases a bit about Kev. Multicolored, 
So the link will be in the description if you guys want to watch that yourself. You can go to the website, you can check it all out, give the video a watch. But as we keep going down, there's just so many sick animations on here. I mean, firstly, you've got this little connector that joins all the dots as you scroll down. And also, over here where we show what we offer, we've got the graphite art, the oil paintings, biker art, music and more. If you actually hover over these things, you get this awesome little image of the specific type of art following your mouse. That's such a premium interaction and it just adds to the feel of the website. And as we keep going down now, we've got more animations, the soul of the gypsy. That image subs up Kev's character so well. Honestly, that's Johnny Cash for those of you that don't know. And that just sums Kev up perfectly. So we keep going down here, more animations, everything's smoothing it, uh, sliding in nice and smoothly. And when we get down to the work here, I just wanted to make sure that everything is presented in a premium manner. It all slides in nicely. If you want to go and click and have a little read, a little bit more information about it, all you can. And just keep scrolling down here. Now, those are obviously some of the cool animations that we did on the homepage, but there's loads of awesome stuff on this site. So if I actually just take you guys over to the gallery page, you can see all the awesome animations that we've actually implemented over here. Got a nice little subtle thing there. And the trick of animations, by the way, guys, is to be subtle. You don't want loads of mad stuff flying around the page. You want it to be just like this, where everything's nice and subtle, little interactions, just to add to the premium feel. So anyway, we land on the gallery page here. And as you scroll down through here, you have this banner image to announce each section, fine art. This is all controllable in the content management system that we trained Kev on. So he's able to go in, upload new collections, add art to the collection. He can do that all himself, no matter his tech skill level, because we trained him on it and we didn't just throw him in at the deep end. So anyway, as we keep scrolling down here, you notice you see the little color change, all of the um, gallery pieces slide in nicely, slide in smoothly. You go through these, you get a little animation for each one. You can obviously read one if you want to. But as we reach each new collection, we get another nice image animated and then we get the nice color change again. So there's just a lot going on here, but we're still keeping it subtle. And to be honest, Kev's a creative, his art's amazing. We needed the animations on the website to be just as good. And the other sick thing about this gallery page, actually, while we're looking at it, is I realized that there's quite a long way to scroll down this page. And you don't just want to be scrolling down it, get lost, where am I? How do I get back to the collection that I liked? So what I actually did was if you start to scroll here, you'll see once you get to a certain depth, this appears. And once this appears, you can open this up, it's going to show you all the collections that were populated in the content management system where Kev's uploaded his work. And you can literally just choose which one you want to go to and it will take you straight there, meaning that the site is much easier to navigate and people aren't going to get lost. All right, so the next thing I actually want to show you guys and talk about is something that I briefly mentioned at the start, which is the fact that we had a load of images of Kev's art, but they were all taken on a phone. They were either blurry or had bad lighting. So we really just needed to fix the quality of the images. I ended up finding these super premium Photoshop mockups. We were able to turn the images into super high quality renditions of Kev's work. So before I actually start showing you guys that and how we actually saved all the images, there's one other thing photograph wise on this website that I'd like to talk about. And actually when we were fit so we were basically finished the design of this i was very close to basically telling them it was done and starting to think about going live when claire sent me a photo of kev working on his art in his workshop at home and asked basically asked me if we could use it on the website when i looked at this image i just thought this sums up kev so well because you can just see like his man cave where he's working where he's creating his art and you can just see him in his element at work but the image was just a bit too clean and like polished for the website and the feel that we were going for. So we needed to find a way to make the image be more in line with the style that's actually on the website. So I was looking at a load of different styles, seeing what I thought would fit. And I ended up finding loads of examples of Polaroids and like old sort of sepia tone images. So what I actually ended up doing was taking this image that I've been provided. Is it on the about page or is it on the home page? Let's take a look. I'm pretty sure it's on this page here. I ended up taking the image that I'd been provided, putting this like sepia tone overlay on it and these film marks here to actually make it look like it's an old fashioned film, which is obviously really suited to Kev's style and the feeling he's trying to give off. I put it in this Polaroid frame and stuck it here, but beyond the canvas, Kev's art serves as a vibrant window through the ages, resurrecting and celebrating nostalgia with timeless creativity. So I think, to be honest, we ended up turning this photo that, Ke that Claire sent us into a really significant part of this site. So carrying on with the photos, we're actually just going to go off the website for a second here. I'm going to take you guys over to Kev's Instagram and show you the photography that we started with. As I told you guys at the start, a lot of this stuff was taken by Kev on his phone with poor lighting and stuff like that. So we really just wanted to bring the quality of the photos up and bring them in line with these high quality mock-ups that you actually see on the site. So if I just take you over to the Instagram quickly here, I'll show you a few examples. A good example is this Soul of the Gypsy frame here. This is obviously an amazing piece of art. It's just not an amazing photo. So what I ended up doing was taking a screenshot of this. I basically just cut around here and just took this out the frame. I took it over into Photoshop, into one of the mockups we found, and the end result is actually amazing because we ended up turning this 
into this high quality canvas you see here. And that's not it. There was loads of amazing transformations of images on this site. Another good example, if we go over here to the gallery page, Obviously, Kev is into a lot of hippie stuff, Californian surf culture. So I just had an idea when I was doing this. If we go over to the gallery page and we scroll down through these banner images that I showed you earlier, we get to this image here. Now, this image actually just started off as the image I'm about to show you. So if we just go back to Kev's Instagram here. So if we just scroll down here, oh, there it is. So we just click in here. I'm just going to go to the next one. That van that I just showed you, literally started off as this. I just took a screenshot, pulled it up into Photoshop, rendered it onto the van, and I'm telling you now, when I showed Kev this, he couldn't have been happier. So if we go back over to the site here, you can see that this site is absolutely covered in high quality images of Kev's art, and all of this stuff started off as one of those images that you just saw on Kev's Instagram. I mean, all of this sketchbook stuff here is actually amazing. I mean, if you take like this here, this sketchbook rendition here, I think there's another one above. We made these nice cutouts of Kev's art, which is just a nice design element to go around. So all of this stuff here, all of this sketchbook stuff, literally started off as images like that. All of this here, this here, even this main image here, I mean, this one here, if we actually just go over to the Instagram quickly, that initially started off, and I know this one's near the top here, as this here. Just a normal photo of the sketch on a white background, and we were able to take that over into Photoshop and turn it into a high quality sketchbook render just like that. All right, and now as we're coming towards the end, I'm just gonna quickly show you guys an example of how Kev can actually upload some new art, just so I can show you how easy it is. So he can literally come in here to his projects, as I showed you a minute ago, this is a list of the projects. You simply just click the plus here to add a new project. We're gonna give this a name. So let's just call this test project. We're gonna give it a description. So we're gonna say this is a test project by Kev Ash. Give it a description. And then regarding an image, I don't know if I actually have like any of Kev's images to hand right here, but I can just pull up the media of all of the images that have been used on the site anywhere, even if an image has been used on the site and then it's been taken out so it's not there anymore. We've still got all of those images in here. So we have a collection that we can actually pick from. So I'm just gonna go through here and just pick one of these images. Let's say this is the image of the art that I'm uploading. I select this one. If not, I can just drop it in, whether that's from my phone or from my desktop. I add a little description of the image, which is just for screen readers. So I can say piece of art on a wall. And then all I do is go and hit publish. And that piece of art is now going to be on the website, ready to go. So I hope you found that helpful. And if you want to get more free value like this from the owner of a real web design agency, then make sure you subscribe for more. And if you want to sign up for our newsletter and get all this value in your inbox every week, then click the link, go to our website and leave your email now.